Good evening from Maui, everyone. Good morning to you. That'll be when you are all watching this. We have two new long positions that are of quality for Tuesday's session. The first one I want to go over is INBK. INBK is a cancelum quality stock. It doesn't have the best ratings, actually. Let me just go over it. I mean, it does, but it's not, not everything's great. It has a composite rating of 95, EPS of 82, relative strength of only 71, but still, you can see it's near its high, so pretty good. A plus group RS, A sales profit margin return on equity, A minus accumulation distribution. So we're dealing with a pretty good cancel quality stock. On top of that, it was confirmed in my price volume BOP scan, and it was also in my tertiary BOP green price up, putting it in three scans, so it's definitely a long position. So what we have here with INBK, we have a pocket pit, that's that blue line surging right here, we have a pocket pivot point signal right off the 50-day moving average. Pocket pivot point signals the highest volume in the past 10 days. Up session, it has to be higher volume than any down session in the past 10 days. So we got that with IMBK, pocket pivot. And you can see that BOP surged from a high green level to max green BOP level today. So that's an excellent bounce off support. And as you can see here, oh, I pressed the wrong button. As you can see here, it's, it's kind of building out an ascending base pattern kind of a pennant formation. So I always like to buy these things at the bottom of their formations and or try to get them before they break out. And that's what we have here with the IMBK with pocket pivot point signal right off the 50 day moving average near the lows. And we got it before it got to this uptrend line before the breakout. IMBK, like I said, quality stock. So 2% for canceling, 1% for price volume bop, 3% position. My limit order is going to be 3110 the high of day. My first cut loss level will be 30. My final cut loss level will be 29.45, the low day of February 8th. So IMBK is the first long, 2% for our canceling, 1% price volume bop, 3% of my account capital is going in this margin account, cash account. I don't even have close to that. I got to split it up with this other new long position. RBPAA. RBPAA is a higher quality canceling stock. As you can see by looking at this chart pattern, it is very coiled. Now what makes this better is that it has a 96 composite rating, a 92 EPS rating, a 95 relative strength rating, A plus group relative strength, B sales profit margin return on equity, and A plus accumulation distribution. So obviously this is the quality one. 90s across the three metrics that are numerical and A's and B's for the alphabetical metrics. So RBPAA is slightly higher quality than IMBK because of that and it was also in one extra scan. So RBPAA was obviously my canceling quality scan. Even though it's $4, my canceling quality scan does not care what the price of the stock is. It was confirmed in my price volume BOP scan. It was also confirmed in my max green BOP for at least five days scan. And then it was in my tertiary BOP green price up scan. So with being canceling, that's 2%, 1% for price volume BOP, 1% for BOP, total of a 4% position. So RBPAA also is making one of those pennant formations, as you can see here, connecting the recent lows. And if we just cut across here with the recent highs, you can see once again, RBPAA is coiling in a nice pennant formation. I just like my price charts this small, guys. Sorry, hopefully you can see it. But anyway, as you can see here, it's bouncing right off that lower support line, also producing a pocket pivot point signal on a strong volume surge. This pocket pivot point signal is coming off not only the 10-day moving average, but the 5 and the 20-day moving average. So this nice ascending base, this pennant formation, is coming right at support, the bounce, and it's coming right at support at the 5, 10, 20-day moving average. I mean, there's a lot of things lined up. So this is a... Really, really, really good looking long position. So like I said, 4% of the account capital. My limit is going to be the high of the day, 405. The first cut loss level is with a close below 3. Wait, is that right? Nope, 388. Sorry, I got to go right here. So see where BOP goes green here? Boom, boom, boom. That low, 388. That's your first cut loss level. And then I want to give this to work, you know, a little bit of leeway to work. So my final cut loss level is going to be 371. Remember, RBPAA and IMBK, those stops that I'm recommending or suggesting, I should say, suggesting, I will adhere to on a closing basis only. So if RBPAA closes below 371, I will then put in my market sell order. If IMBK closes below 2945, I will then put in my market sell order. But unless they do that, I am not going to have any stops on the book. I never do that for any kind of 
small cap stock, bank stock. Did it for one stock on accident, GABC, not even thinking. And, of course, it hit one stop, and now it's higher. But it did not hit my final stop, so I still have half of the original position of GABC. But like I said, RBPAA, very, very high quality. Same similar pattern to IMBK pretty high quality. And also, I want to go ahead and take a swing at this stock, ETRM. This one is a day trading chat room favorite, and I've noticed it's been hot here. Apply the Fibonacci retracement, found support right around the five area before bouncing again. One time, pulled back on lower volume, bounced again, pulled back on lower volume, bounced again on heavier volume, and it's pulling back again on light volume. Max green bop the entire way. Max Green bought before that little flush washout before the pop here. So this is a very good looking coiled chart. Now there's one other one I'm looking at XGTI, but do you see how this one is still kind of trending down overall? ETRM, on the other hand, is kind of trending up overall. So that's why I'm taking ETRM as a possible runner. So once again, the same 0.25% of my account capital because it's a swing expecting huge gains or else I'm going to lose a little bit on this one. 769 is going to be my limit order on ETRM. My first cut loss level is going to be all the way down to 697. And then I'm willing to give it all the way to 594 before I know I'm wrong. But this is a spec position. I'm trying to hit a major runner here. I'm trying to see if it can't get back up to this high over here. 1017, the 200 day moving average, which looks like it's around the 16 level. And then if all goes well, trying to look for a run to 30, really don't think that'll happen. But it's being accumulated. It held the support as it pulled back here right to the 50 day moving average and the Fibonacci retracement level that's not shown on this chart. Bounced again on heavy volume, closing near the highs. Bounced again on high volume, closing near the highs, pulling back on low volume. So we'll see if it does it again. But ETRM, just want to try a little speculative play on that one but rbp aa despite it being four dollars that's the best one on the evening and imbk 3110 remember they're both very thin so limit orders only at the prices that i suggest if you are going to play them all right everyone i'll see you in the chat room